Eddie Stobart is one of the busiest haulage companies in Britain. Crack on with it, John. See what you can do for us, all right? So if it's not back, we won't get any money for it. We don't get any money for it. We're effectively running it around for free of charge. Their 3,000 drivers cover the distance to the sun and back every year, delivering 16 million tonnes of essential goods around the UK and Europe. They'll take on any challenge. I'm two minutes behind you. It is close. It's going to be very close. And any cargo. It's uh, a little bit different, isn't it? For the drivers, it can be trucking hell. It's turning into a nightmare. Coming up... The truckers head to the World Rally in Finland and have to multitask. Salads for lunch, freshly made coleslaw. I don't think we do too bad for truck drivers. A chilled driver faces her greatest fear. Please don't tell me this is for the bridge. And a truck gets dumped. I find it amazing, to be honest with you. It's certainly a spectacle to see. Eddie Stobart truckers make a delivery every four seconds. Their drivers have to put up with traffic jams, long hours, and living in the back of a cab. It's anything but glamorous. <laughs> but there's one set of lucky truckers who are the envy of the company. And that's the World Rally Delivery Team. Today, this band of brothers are at Cockermouth in Cumbria. They're made up of six drivers who travel all over the world following Stobart's very own rally team. My name's Tony, a.k.a. Big Tony. You can probably tell why. Tony's been an international trucker for 11 years, and he's the motor mouth of the group. Welcome to Rally Finland. And Tony's got a sidekick. I'm Mark. My name is Shiny Wheels. So he's the like Shiny Wheels on the truck. Mark's always been an international driver, but this job tops the lot. You get to travel around Europe, you know, you get paid to do it as well, which is a big perk. It's the height of the world rally season. The team only got back from the last rally a week ago, and in half an hour, they're off again to Finland. Because it's such a short space between two rallies, they don't have a lot of time to prepare stuff, but hopefully all this stuff will be ready. <laughs> Says with fingers crossed. <laughs> The lads have to load up their double-decker trailer with all the spare parts for the cars and the marquees that'll make the Stobart Rally Team base. It's a totally different ball game than just pulling up to a delivery point, getting out, and the forklift taking the load off. We build the hospitality, we build the service park. We do a bit of everything. The convoy's got two hours to get from Cockermouth to Newcastle, where they're going to catch a 16-hour ferry over to the continent. It's the start of a four-day journey. Well, we're all packed up, ready to go. We better get off because we're ferry to catch. Stobart has been delivering to World Rally Championships for five years for the Stobart M Sport Ford team. Eight hundred and sixty million people watch the World Rally, so having their own team helps promote the Stobart brand abroad. The rally cars are already en route, so Tony and the team need to stay on schedule. In this game, you can't really afford to start missing ferries. The trailers on the back of the trucks are unique, designed and customised for the World Rally. Cue the double-decker mega-trailer. These huge carriers are packed to the rafters with all the spare parts for the rally cars. That's 300 wheels, 20 bumpers, and up to 60 car panels. They carry their own forklifts on the back of the trailers to help with unloading. The truck is a Swedish Scania with a 420 horsepower V8 engine and a pulling power of 40 tonnes. The wheels on this monster are smaller than average to reduce the height for the four-metre restrictions on Europe's tunnels and bridges. It makes it a low-ride truck, but it has a lifting front axle so it can board a ferry with ease. 
But first, they've got to get there in time. Phil, the convoy leader's got to make sure they don't miss the boat. If it was a case of 10, 15 minutes, they would actually hold the ferry. But if it's going to be much longer than that, I'm afraid, it would be um, turn around, head south down the A1 and head to, head to Calais. It would add another 600 miles to their journey and would cost Stobarts around £6,000 in fuel and wages. And crucially, it would be letting down the Stobart rally team who depend on their vital supplies. The rally will not wait for you. You know, If you're not here with all your equipment and the transport doesn't get here in time, then it's irrespective. You know, the event will still go ahead. Uh, and of course, then the team and everything faces uh, penalties from the FIA. And that could mean the Stobart rally team can't compete or they'll have vital points deducted. So the six truckers need to get their skates on. Thankfully, the traffic's flowing well. And after 85 miles across country, Tony and the boys make it to Newcastle. Well, here we are. Port of time. All aboard. Next stop, the continent. Eddie Stobart trucks are some of the most recognisable on British roads. And there are six in the fleet that are a bit different the World Rally Delivery Trucks. They've already been on the road for four days, heading to the World Rally Championships in Finland. After leaving Cockermouth in Cumbria, they travelled from Newcastle to Holland, and after an overland drive through Germany, they caught a ferry to Helsinki, where they've just landed. So far, the European roads have been a doddle for Tony Wynn and the rest of the truckers. Luckily enough, we, there were, we had no problems whatsoever. It was just a nice, steady drive all the way up. For the last leg of their journey, the convoy is travelling 168 miles from Helsinki to the southern town of Javascula. It's a four-hour journey, and it's all going to plan. I can't really say that we've ever come across a really big problem. Um, touch wood, but, you know, it's first time for everything, isn't it? but Tony's spoken too soon. Yeah, we've got a warning sign go up on the dash. It just says, uh, air consumption, I. I can clear it, though, just by pressing that button. But, um, it's, uh, so it's come back on. The air consumption light coming on could signal a number of technical hitches with the truck, but Tony fears the worst. Obviously, all the brakes run on air, so if we lose the air pressure, right away the brakes will lock on. We will stop, but at a sudden stop. Tony knows a delay could spell disaster for the rally team. Over the CB radio, he informs the rest of the convoy that there's a problem. Air consumption critical. Teammate Mark predicts the worst. The brakes start banging and it heats the, the wheels up and cause a fire. Within minutes, the warning sign pops up again and Tony has to check it out. With a man down, the whole convoy comes to a standstill. Brake chamber gone. The brake chamber is a crucial part of the brake system. It converts air pressure into mechanical force. With, with, no, uh, with no brakes. With no brakes, Tony's truck won't be going anywhere. And without Tony, the rally cars will be without their vital spare parts. This could threaten the entire team competing in the finish leg of the World Rally Championships. So the lads need to get to the bottom of it quickly. No, with, with, no, uh, with no brakes. But just when he thinks his truck has let the convoy down, one of the other drivers, Pete, has a hunch. This is the bag that's gone. What is it, Pete? Oh, hey? Pack come off. Pack come off. Yeah. What were it? This one. Pack off. On the chamber. Yeah, no, it's not It's not a brake chamber. It's her bag. Her 
Well, Peter going underneath, he's found it's not the brake chamber, it was an air pipe has come off the air, one of the airbags for the suspension. And uh, he's pushed it back on. And the suspension, if you look, you can actually see the suspension coming back up on the trailer now. The trailer relies on bags full of compressed air to act as springs to avoid damage to the truck and its precious load. Could be anything, you know, pressure, it could have just blown it off or maybe coming off a boat, too much pressure with, on the airbags, could be anything. You can hear there's no air coming out now, so we a bit of luck. Everything should be okay, all gauges should be okay. So it's okay. Catastrophe averted, it's time to hit the road again. The rally waits for no man. The World Rally in Finland is the highlight of the sporting calendar. The gravel roads near Javaskula are ideal for racing. Having travelled over 1,200 miles, the truckers have made it to their destination. Yeah, this is it, the service park. But their work doesn't stop there. It's all go, you don't get a chance to have five minutes now, that's it, it's just mad time. The service park is where the rally cars will get their running repairs between races. Over the next three days, the truckers, along with ten other construction workers, will turn this patch of gravel into the rally team's home base. It'll be quite impressive when it's all set up. It's um, all different teams and that sort of thing. It should look quite well. 